Now I'm going to have to climb under the desk and start unplugging stuff and moving this wheel out of the way. The hunter. The hunter upsets certain people. Like, it's a terrific looking game. Really, really relaxed, but it upsets some people. Because you're basically shooting innocent animals. Um, that's the the computer range is going to get refreshed soon. It'll look even better. Have you played Hunter Call of War? That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. I didn't shoot an innocent people. It's just not even worth having this debate. <laughs> it really isn't. That's one bracket off. Um, uh, will you be playing Call of Duty World War II PC beta? Well, here's the thing, right? I already played it at Gamescom. And, you know, it's got a couple of new things. Like some interesting stuff. But it really isn't worth spending 50 quid or whatever it's going to be and getting into it. It is literally more of the same. The basic problem with COD, with Call of Duty for me, sorry, I had to concentrate there. The the basic problem with Call of Duty, um, is th there's no like destructible environments, right? That's the main thing. So I used to love Battlefield because it had destructible environments, which means you could take out cover, you could you know, open up things, open up avenues that weren't there before. Um, you could be inventive, you know. You don't have that in COD. They still don't have destructible environments in COD. And the second thing is, the basic concept of the game is spawn, kill, die, spawn, kill, die, spawn, kill, die. It's literally like that. So you spawn, yeah, you kill some people, get killed yourself, you immediately come back into the fight kill some more people, or even the person that just killed you, and then come back into the fight. It's that throwaway kind of life aspect that I don't like. It makes, it cheapens the whole thing. If you play games like, you know, Counter-Strike or Rainbow Six, you don't have that. Or even in PUBG, you know, once you're dead, you're dead. You know, even to the next round or the next game. It means that people take more caution when they play. And that's why I pref that's the kind of game style I prefer. That's why I don't play COD. Because it doesn't have that. Gotta take the brakes off my wheels now. I managed to put those braking casters on my wheel, which actually really helped me because my chair didn't go backwards once during that race, which is really cool. Uh I'm a three a fatty, I can't even remember, bro. Right, I just need to climb under the desk for a second. Uh, so I'm just going to pop the camera off. COD is a fast arcade game. It is. It's just, I don't know. I, I don't find it entertaining. to drag my wheel out the way. This thing is heavy.
Cool. Right. That's that out the way. Now to decide what we're playing. Can you play and get into PUBG then? I've played PUBG. I played it when it was early access, you know. Um, it, it's a fun game. I just don't want to get... I don't know if I want to get into it, you know. Don't know if you bothered learning the whole meta for it. I'd rather play... I'd rather play Rainbow Six, I think. Right, what should we play? Let's see. Hasn't there been some updates to Stranded Deep and Subnautica and stuff? No, not Factorio. Train Sim World we did yesterday. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you, Whiteland? Subnautica has a pet. Has Subnautica got multiplayer yet, or is it not? Is a no plan to have multiplayer? Yeah, but Tom Trick, we kind of did a lot of stuff in Train Sim World last night. I'm not. In the mood for my car. What are you playing next? We're trying to work it out. Uh, the new spin tires comes out in October, I think. I think it's the end of October, something like that. It will never have MP. That's a shame, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, Ast Astroneer, you need to have um, people to play with. Skylines. God, if I get into Skylines again, you know what's going to happen. See, when I start Skylines, people are like, are you playing Skylines again? Are you playing Skylines? Because you want to finish it off. I mean, never get to finish it off, because every time they do an update, it breaks my game. <laughs> do you have access to Maud How Alpha? I have no idea what that is, so let's assume not. Silent Hunter 3. Yeah. What's that? Uh, is there anything that had a major update that makes it rather cool now? Um, Hearty Shot. We did. Harm 27, 15 months already. Getting close to two years. Thank you very much, Harm. I did train some yesterday. I'm not playing train some today. I don't fancy playing car mechanic. Uh, can't even think straight now. Mine's gone blank. Mafia 3, lid. I think... I think, I, I think I'll play either... Either Transport Fever or Skylines. Let me put that to a vote. I'm not saying you're going to have the final say on this. I just want to know what your sentiment is on this. See which ones you prefer. Uh, Skylines or Fever. There you go. Exclamation mark, vote, space, Skylines, or exclamation mark, vote, space, Fever. You get one vote, so, um, you know, you can change your vote and all that, but you only get to vote once in one thing. Just want to see what you guys think. Sixty-five percent fever, thirty-five percent skylines. Interesting. <laughs> so roughly two thirds transport fever. Okay. All right, I'm down with that. I'm just going to. I'm stopping now because uh, what will happen is people will just look at it and start making it fifty-fifty because they think it's funny. Uh, all right, let's um, let's have a go of this. Transport fever and see what it's about these days. I've not played it in a long time. 
Transport. I guess we need to go and have a look for some mods first, right? Wow, Twitch browser's being really slow. Okay, right. Updating Twitch game. Uh, let's see. Now using wrong keyboard. Right, transport fever. Let's see where this is at. It's been a while. Okay, my guess is... My guess is that'll get a VOD muted, so... Music off, plus. Now let's have out a second. Okay. Let's see if we can remember how to play this. It's been a while. Yes, it has. All right. Workshop. Okay. Are there any essential... Essential mods, not like, oh, this would be nice. Are there any essential mods oh, that I should be yeah, getting yeah, right now? Yeah, yeah. Like stuff that you wouldn't play this game without them. You know, like a pro mods for, for ETS. Uh, up a mill, Will. Typical, just as I have to go, you start playing Transport Fever. Oh, <laughs> well, have fun. I can watch the VOD. Up a mill, Will. Have a good one, sir. Thank you for the bits. Yeah, I almost bought the game earlier in the week. Got Car Mechanic Sim instead. There's no essential mods, all right. Morda. Morda with seven months. Hello, seven just passed halfway. Yay! Uh, let's go for most subscribed then. Mercedes-Benz Citaro. So that's the buses. Quite like the Citaro. I've already got that one, apparently. Curved stations by the devs is a must. What, they put that into the workshop? Curved stations? Wow, look at that. That's actually quite cool. I like that. All right, we'll take that one. So that was done by... Created by Transport Fever Beta Admin 1. This profile is private. Okay, weird. Sloped stations, advanced stations. What the heck is this? Wait a second. Advanced stations has got curved ones as well. Three passenger stations with much more customization options. The mod requires the official curved stations mod from Urban Games to be activated, which I ha which I now have. Let's get that one then. Looks like fun. Oh, you can actually have underground ones. Do they work properly? Look at the state. Somebody always does this. Somebody always goes full ham. What on earth is that? Ooh. I like that. In the collection. Hang on. There's a collection which has got this in it. Flying Junction, love that one. Sloping train stations. Stations with a slope and height adjustment option. I'm going to forget to enable all these because you have to sub to them and then you have to enable them in the game, don't you? If, if I remember correctly. Open cut station and retaining wall. Oh, wow, that's nice. That is That is so nice. Flying station, flying junction road extension. This guy's done some nice stuff. Complex train stations, underground level and or tram stop options.
Underground multi-level stations required. Subscribe. <laughs> you got nothing on me, Whiteland. <laughs> Are you getting jelly, Whiteland? Because you haven't made any mods for Transport Fever. Hey, Nikki. What's this one? Slope train stations. Yeah, it could be interesting. I'm not sure if they actually build slope rail stations, though. Okay, what else have we got? Uh, let's go back to the most, most subscribed option again. Curve stations, we've got Deutsche Bahn IC3. That sounds like something I should probably get. Wow. Hydrogen, hydrogen regional train. Look at the state of this. Cost 51 million. Go yeah, well, on, mate. Fine junction road extension. Didn't we just get these? High capacity road station. Oh, now that sounds like a must. That sounds like a must. One to nine terminals. There's an Arriva and a first mainline bus skin. Uh, thank you, Hands of Despair. Yeah, 51 million. That's going to take a while. Locomotive, wagon. Let's have a look under buses. The Volvo 5000. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that looks so cute. The Volvo 5000. We'll take that. Police car series. There's a, oh, a little size here. I think I have that. Yeah, I'm sub to that. I had that from last time. Bendy bus hype. The route master? No. As if there's a route master in here. The 0405. It's a classic. Locomotive, MPUs. Probably should get some MPUs, I guess. Not many uh, highly rated ones, though. No way, look at this. What on earth is that? It looks terrible. You subbed to the wrong one, Jackson. Did I? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. Europe and USA scenarios. Talgo, Verdun, de Bogafia. Espana. Blimey. That looks like a workhorse, doesn't it? There's a bunch of UK trains. How do we get to them, though? You can't filter, can you? You filter by UK somehow? They look pretty cool. We'll take those. Yeah, I don't know. Have they fixed planes in the game yet? Things like planes and ships, they just never worked properly. Like, economically, you just couldn't get them to work. Do you remember we like every every ship cargo run we ever did just did not work properly. Dry cargo vessel. Four holes, five hundred units. It's quite nice. 
let's get some ships as well, see if they can, uh, yeah, I assume they fixed it. They must have balanced stuff by now, surely. It's the jet foil. Passenger carrying water jet propelled hydrofoil designed by Boeing. Lel, I like that. Can I join your GTA Online group, James? Yep. Um, okay. I'll have a look at planes. The 757. Are there even maps big enough for this? How much does that thing cost? Well, there's nothing wrong with that picture, is there? <laughs> a picture of realism right there. PC Kelly, it's been a long time since I played this. A320 EasyJet, anybody? <laughs> is there a Ryanair in here? There's got to be. A 747 cargo? Are you actually having a giraffe? Oh, look at the old school stuff. There's some really weird stuff in here. Pan Am 737? What? Ooh, what's this? Freight airport. Did they never actually add freight airports into the game? Collection of airports for cargo, small, freight, medium, and large. The model also includes freight versions of the following planes. Did they never do this? Did they never add freight into the game? That's crazy. Lufthansa. Yeah, they're all in there. All right, let's turn off plane. Go for. Train station, freight station, building, British, British assets, as if, look at this, look at this 40 ton trucks, Eddie Stobart, has the, <laughs> have to get that one as well, 40 ton truck set. They did not because there was already a mod that does freight airports. Okay. I would have thought they'd just absorb it, some of the mods into the main game though. Container asset set. That looks nice. Definitely down with some realism stuff. Car asset pack. Urban games, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, why not? This is a download sim. Well, I think you just got to get it set up, and then when you jump in, you know, you don't have to do it anymore. Traffic light. As if. 28 traffic lights, all yellow and white, with are animated. Blimey. What about the map, though? What are we going to do about the map? We need to start on a map now. Uh, map, miscellaneous. Turn off the British thing. Um, Africa, lol. Russian map. That sounds interesting. Most popular, most subscribed, top rated all time. UK and Ireland. We already did UK and Ireland. We did UK. I'm, I'm not doing UK and Ireland. I want a big landmass this time. Grand Canyon. That's got to be difficult. Blimey. Innsbruck map. Wow, that's going to be tricky. The maze. Snake your track through the maze of narrow mountains. World cities, South Russia and East Ukraine. Central USA. It's been a little bit boring, that one. South Russia. That looks interesting. It's got some, like, hilly bits. It's got some interesting water features. 
It's got some flat land. I think we should go with her. You just join what we're doing. Basically picking mods to start Transport Fever with. Absolutely fantastic map. Love the Cyrillic names. Oh, God. Has it got Cyrillic city names? <laughs> I won't be able to pronounce anything. Yeah, that's, that's probably not the best idea in that case. I really like this map, but my native English language is not Russian. Is there a way to change the names of the cities to English equivalent? Google Translate, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. It looked like a good map, but I won't be able to pronounce anything. Big city. Italian lakes. The River Delta Redux. What's this then? That actually looks like quite a tricky map to me. There's a lot of hills in that. Go challenging. Yeah, you should definitely do that. On your first play on your first playthrough, having not played the game for a year, you should definitely just go straight into the hardest map you can find. What could possibly go wrong? A map of Poland? Poland really look like that? Looks tiny. There's chat to help you, Captain Flint. Uh-huh. South Devon? How can you play on South Devon? It's just a county. Six K Ohio River. What on earth? Got a video? As if he's got his own video. Okay, where's more stupid music? Uh, you're not really showing us the map at this point. Yeah, they're just screenshots. Oh, there you go. Six K Ohio River Valley. What does he mean by six K exactly? Is he on about the resolution of the map? Is it just basically huge or something? Now with industry. Looks like he's actually put assets in fixed places as well. So it's not random by the look of it. What's the problem with not being able to read city names? It don't affect anything, Captain Flint. It's just going to make it hard to, like... Like, if you see a... I don't know. I think it's just going to make it weird. There's no way that's 6K textures. Well, I don't know what it, what it means by 6K, then. Um, let's sub to the Russian map, then. Where's it gone? I may not play it, though. Is that one? Is that it? Happy anniversary, Nata. Right, let's try creating a game now. Dang it. Oh, game, free game, tutorial, campaign. Custom. Here we go. Uh, Fredman, thank you for 60 months. Vehicles, European. Right, 6K. Mods are active, achievements cannot be earned. Oh, no. I've already got quite a few mods by the look of it. I can't remember if there's any of these. No cost, what the heck? Everything free? No. What does reading city names have to do with exploring? He's not visiting actual Russia. 
I don't know if it would affect anything or not. Yeah, I don't want all the mods active pairs because then I'm going to end up with no costs and stuff like that, am I? So I need to transfer a whole load of them. Volvo LV63. Take that. Take that. Don't know what that is. Vehicles with no end year. Oh yeah, modifies vehicles availability such that once the vehicle becomes available, it will remain available for the rest of the game. Hmm. No. Underground multi-level. Um, the use UICZ Wagen and the Deutsche Bahn in different colours. Yeah, why not? Traffic lights. Time progression slower. Hmm. How is this mod these days? Because I remember this. The game used to play better, but it had weird... It used to break the dynamics of the game, I remember. Do you remember? We used to have years where the stations would just suddenly stop producing anything. And I think it was down to this mod. Is there a better one than this now? Custom sounds fixed and all that is. You use it all the time, Kekowus. And does anything break? Do you find that your economy is broken in any way? Oh, squirrel logo. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. I wonder if that still works. Squirrel logo on the side of the train. To the nut house. Created by Kekowus, funnily enough. Who was that? Uh, Nicola, Nicholas Oliver. Thank you for subbing, Nicholas. Welcome to the net house. Can we uh, give Nicholas a lovely nutty welcome, guys? You know the temporary outages, it just pauses production when the platforms are full. Hmm, okay. We'll take it and hope it doesn't break stuff. South Russia. We'll leave out for now. We'll grab that. Grab that. S-Bahn Viaduct, no. Rhine gold wagons to the game. Yeah, go on then. Open cut station. The NSB EI one eight. I guess. Mercedes Benz oh four oh five Citaro. Uh, don't know what that is. Hungarian Taurus and intercity buses. IC3, high capacity road, freight airport, fine junctions, tri cargo vessel, curved train station, container assets, car, class 47, uh, the boat thing, the Boeing, advanced stations A320. Okay. So that's the ones I'm not going to have. It's not really a remake of OpenTTD, no. I need to have the achievement mod to get achievements. I'm not really bothered about achievements. They don't bother me one bit. Vehicles European, terrain European, town names default, trees European, building streets environment. That sounds about right. Okay. You must go and move your ASP across the galaxy, or your ASP, across the galaxy, limit back to Jack Station after a trip to SAG, a hole at 36%. Jeff, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I'll tell you a code for a cool map. I've already got the map. So how does that look? We're not going to have these. Chris Sawyer disappeared from games entirely after the Atari lawsuit. It's a damn shame. Well, didn't Atari get... The name got sold. They went bankrupt, Atari, and then their name got sold to somebody else. What is Chris Sawyer doing these days? He probably made enough money to be not bothered. Class 101 is awesome. I don't have the Class 101.
Uh, you mean one of these? There's quite a few of them. He makes mobile port of his old games now. <laughs> I think this game is going to crash as you didn't do the map mod said to do. I don't understand, Joku. Can you explain? Oh, you mean this one? That looks nice. Love that. Oh, it's gone back. It's not going to put it in here, look. How do you get this thing to refresh? Try going back in. Yeah. There you go. That's how you do it. <laughs> There's always a way of getting it to refresh. Right. Um, terrain type. World format. Mm. 6K Ohio. Start year. What, 1850? Or 1900? Should we go into a bit of tech? Rather than Stark in the Dark Ages? Difficulty. You can win. You will be challenged. You will go bankrupt. Uh, Paul, the map told you to do this. One oh, second, bro. Uh, what did it tell me to do, bro? Loading instructions for extra experimental maps. Oh my god, what? Go to Steam, user data, user ID, local, edit settings. Got lower. Uh. Well, how do I get out of this now without having to select all of those mods again? Because that will be a real pain. Berry D with 200 bits. Hello, Paul. I'm planning to build a gaming to build a gaming PC. Do you have some useful tips, advice to keep in mind since it's my first PC? Um, take your time. <laughs> take your time. If you're unsure about anything at all go on youtube and watch a video for example how do i insert this cpu into the socket well go on youtube there'll be a video for it yeah how do i put thermal paste on my cpu there's a video on youtube for it watch before you do it yourself take your time yeah it's my is my main advice it's not difficult to do yeah but there's a potential for you to break something if you do it wrong use the map code E-P-E-C-C -E at the last thing. Midway since it's four times slower, I'd say. Otherwise, yeah, exactly. So do I need to come out of this now in order to do this thing what it says I need to do? Oh, and Barry, keep touching the radiator now and again just to ground yourself. You don't want any static. Static can break things. Right, are we... Are we can I just start this, or do I need to actually come out of it now? I'm doing the EPECC Challenge 2. I have no idea what that is. I just want to start this, but apparently I have to do this thing what Vrome says. The mod says, go to the user data folder. Experimental map size is equal to false change to true, apparently. Because I don't want to build that mod list again. That'll be annoying. Let's see what happens. See if I can save it. I just want to be able to save the game at least. Okay. Game initialization failed. Height map too large. Number of pixels must not exceed 16 million. Great. Well, ain't that just dandy? Right. Steam user data.
Now the question is, which is mine? Probably that one. User data four four six eight hundred four four six eight hundred. Uh, local edit lower. Experimental map sizes. It's that one. Okay, I've set it to true. Probably need to restart the game to get it to work now, don't I? Well, I've been doing four hours, Tom Brad. I've just been sat here looking at mods, mate. <laughs> now I've been eye racing. I doubt that's going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> right, let me take a photograph of the ones I need to have on the list. Can't bother working it out again. There we go. So now I have to come out with a game. EPC is, is challenges every product, every city. I don't believe I'm doing that challenge. On sub for the others, Matt. Could do. Right, free game. Well, that's nice of it. It actually remembered that stuff. Plus one. Minus one. Game initialization failed. Height map too large. Number of pixels must not exceed 16 meg. Well. I did what it said. Experimental map size is equals true. October 2016 was the last time I played this game, by the way. So it is almost 12 months. Make the change when the game is closed. No, because it doesn't matter. Settings file, 1749 date on it. It wasn't overwritten by the closure because I opened it in Notepad++ and if a file changes on disk, Notepad++ tells you straight away. This ain't working. The only thing I can think of... No, it's not that. Four, four, six, eight hundred. Doesn't work. Let's try the other map then. Um, are all the mods my game version you're using? No idea, Diamond Tiger. But if you look at the actual fail error, the actual fail error is to do with the size of the map. It says game initialization failed, height map too large, number of pixels must not exceed 16 million. So if I was to change that to South Russia, for example, and then it works, we know that it's the Ohio map. And if it doesn't, we know it's something else. Oh, you give up too easily, year of the squirrel. Oh no, I can't get it working. Let's play something else. <laughs> How about you fix things? See, I think we're in. I was on the game yesterday, I had to close the game, then change it in Notepad to true. Well, that's what I did. You can tell if the game's froze, because if, if I put my cursor there, and if the bar goes past it, it's still loading. It's another spezzy gone. Dark times. Positioning of the docks is really important. If you search on YouTube, 
Storm's latest video shows us perfectly in about five minutes. Well, I'll just I'll just succeed by being amazing. First time texture compression. Okay, uh, we have nine million. How do you pause the game? What was the hotkeys? One, two, no. What's the hotkeys for pausing? Graphics on, 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 on. Audio, blah, blah, blah. Controls. Okay. Oh, yeah, the keypads. I remember the keypads. Oh, it's the pause break, isn't it? Toggle rail, icon builder HUD. Yeah. Pause break, he does that. No warnings. Okay. Let's have a look around. Limey. Look at this. It's not Russian city names because it doesn't matter. That's why. <laughs> because it doesn't matter. Why the Russian city names? Because we're in Russia, funnily enough. I quite like the look of this one here. From to Can we just change these as we go along? We could just name them Town 1 and Town 2 or something. To something I can actually pronounce. Ahana. I can pronounce Ahana. Alright. Uh, what, what is it? Okay, it's like a microwave warm-up job. Okay. Because I want to learn Russian. Name them London or English cities. Scumberg. <laughs> See, I don't mind I don't mind town names that I can say. Things like this one. Where's it gone? I mean I'm tempted to rename that rename that to Aha. Like the band. But how do we say this? I have no idea. I don't do Cyrillic. Name them after viewers. Can you imagine the carnage? That's Socky. How do you how do you know that that that's Socky? I might just name them after animals. Call that one pig. That one call that one sheep. <laughs> but that could get confusing with the goods, couldn't it? What is this here? I tell you what, I would not mind living with that view right there. That's Sochi. Right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Whenever we, whenever we, um, whenever we connect a city, I'm going to rename it to something that I can pronounce, right? And I'm going to ask you guys for a name. And then the one that makes me laugh the most, and you have to keep it clean, all right? The one that makes me laugh the most, I'm going to go with. But it has to be PG. I don't want any, uh, I don't want any nasty stuff in chat. Thank you very much. And it can be more than one word. You know, it can be like, you know, I don't know, fluffy heights or something. Whatever you want, but it has to be clean. And the funniest I'll pick. So let me work out where we're going to start. Why is it me, or is this control system reversed? Action shadows, geometry. Close. Oh, tab for game cycle speed. Look. Pause, close all, delete. H for help. I'm not asking for suggestions right now. I'll let you know when I am. Um, Jonathan CB, thank you for the resume. Tom Tom Go, thank you for 21 months. Um, that's a nice town there. I guess we want to start off with passengers, yeah? 
and then we'll bring in some I've forgotten the let me refresh my mind so they want yeah farm gas oil construction materials I remember goods food and tools that's not loud enough okay settings audio sound effects we'll dial that back a little bit Um, see, I don't like that town because it's basically isolated. There's nowhere to connect it to very easily. This would make a nice port at some point, possibly. There's a lot of farm over here. There's a big farm there. Farm is good. To bring food to cities, they all, that always helps them grow. That one's a nice big farm there. Uh, they're a bit mountainous. I'm looking for the looking for the ideal starting point to give us a nice easy run. You say start with simple production line, then expand passages are not really profitable. Yeah, I'm not thinking of the passengers so much. I'm thinking about bringing the materials in that grows the city. The basic materials initially. So things like this. Produces grain and livestock. We need to bring it to here. Produces food, and then we can take the food into the city. That's quite a big one. And that's quite a big one. How hilly is that, though? That's the question. It's actually quite flat, though. We, we could link these two. We could start with these two. Bring some stuff into here, possibly. Start with the basic short production line, then try the harder ones. Uh, Spatial Dragon last episode was from the third. Really? Have a look. Six days ago, 3rd of September. It should already be there. I'm moving from the tent. I don't know. I'll find out. I shall find out. Uh, UK trucks for transport fever. Tells us posters there. Okay, I missed that. <laughs> I just didn't know. You need two different cards. Food is better. Con mats isn't really because you need two different cards. Food is better. Just tried the higher map at my end and it loaded fine. Well, I don't know what to say, bro. Didn't work for me. Right, forest. Let's see what we've got here. Oil refinery. That's good. We can get the gas if we can find the oil anywhere. Uh, can we find oil? Come on, where's the crude? Um, forest. Oil well is there. Hmm. Right, we've got oil here and oil refinery here. So straight away I'm thinking there's a run to create fuel. Fuel can go to here and here. That's a possibility. Uh, you need to channel uh, Cantaloupe. Welcome, welcome. You notice the schedule hasn't been updated. Let me have a look. Schedule.squirrel.tv uh, Monday the 11th of September. Um, schedule looks fine to me. Looks like it's updated to me. It says you're playing iRacing. It shouldn't do, because the game is definitely Transport Fever. Welcome back. Food is good for trains if you restrict it to livestock since they share a car with food type. No, wasn't that a, um... Wasn't it, what is it, is it livestock? No, it's the, it's the grain you need, isn't it? I'm trying to remember now. 
There's one of them that, that you can take that goes in the same car. I can't remember which one it is. I'm trying to remember this game before I commit. Uh, can you show us some sky, more sky boxes? You mean in, in Sunday Night Truck It? Yeah. Katie Barrett, thank you for the resume. Ready to get going here. I'm trying to plan it a little bit though. Quarry, chemical plant, not good for us at the moment. Coal mine, steel mill, complex stuff initially. Let's not start with that. Farm is here. Livestock and food share the same car. That was it. Livestock. Yeah, you stay away from the grain, don't you? You move the livestock. Food process plant. Right, so we can take our livestock. We can take stuff from here into here. Yeah, take the livestock into there. That'll produce food. So we can do that via road initially, I think. Probably easiest to just create a road across there. Put a depot here. Uh, take something out of that, ship it to here, create food, and then we can feed four cities at least quite easily. Try and create a road down there possibly, and then branch off either way. Uh, and then probably go over here as well. So that, that looks like a winner straight away. Use the other farm. Why would we use the other farm? This is the best, the best farm. It's right here, look. Why would you use that one? The other day it wasn't updated. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, now to remember how to build roads and stuff. So we're gonna have to squeeze a depot in here somewhere. Use the other farm longer distance is more money. What? So you're saying that instead of bringing food from here to here, we would actually be better off bringing it from here to here. I'm thinking we just start small. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we get going here. There's a big hill there. Let's go maybe there like that. I wasn't going to do trains. I was just going to take it with trucks initially. So are you, are you guys basically saying that instead of taking trucks to here, we're better off taking a train to there? You get paid by the kilometer. Okay. So the game basically encourages you to take, to go longer distances. Okay, um, let's see, large streets, small country road. Guessing this is a small country road as well. It's actually very hilly. I don't want the trucks going all the way around here. Let's see if we can find a better sloping spot. There we go. It's a trap. Don't listen, bloater. Yeah. I'm seeing like 50 opinions on this. I'm just going, meh. <laughs> right then, let's see. We want a... Truck station. Three large cargo terminals. I'm thinking... Oh, crikey. How do you rotate again? How do you rotate? D 
Does it cost to build roads? Yes, James, it does. M and N, that was it. Okay, that's pure catchment right there. Make sure we're going to stay in catchment when this thing upgrades. Okay, one of those right there. We're going to have another one over here. Like that. Um, Hector Lita, thank you for the host. Any space for upgrades? Well, I think I've left space. I can't remember if that's enough now. I've kind of committed it now, haven't I? I can't remember if it's go backwards as well. That's probably rubbish now, isn't it? Hmm.